Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and out the news in details. See what a popular Nottingham said about Senator Abaribi that has got people talking. Political commentator and human rights advocate F.S. Yusuf has applauded Senator Abaribi for his outspokenness and carpeted other senators especially from the northern part of the country, for not being straightforward in their dealings. Senator Abaribe is a Nigerian politician who was elected to the Abia State South Senatorial District of Abia State in, his, in, in the Senate of Nigeria in April 2007. Abaribe is an outspoken senator, often contributing to debates on national issues. He is a member of the major opposition's People's Democratic Party, PDP, and is currently the minority leader in the Senate. Yusuf said that the only senator he can applaud for speaking up against the misdeed of the executive arms of the government is Senator Baribi. He continued, many others speak from both sides of their mouths, especially the northern legislators. The only senators I can applaud from, for speaking up about President Muhammad Buhari's governance is Senator Baribi. Many others speak from both sides of their mouths. Abaribe knows he has his people behind him, while the others, legislators, will need federal might to win the election. Another commentator also said most of our senators are figurehead. Some of them became a senator just, just to be senators. It is why they barely talk about the things that matter. They are okay with the status quo, and just like the executive arm, many of them have no vision for a better Nigerian worth fighting for. Most of our senators are fighting heads. However, Hilas has a contrary view. He said, Why I agree with Abaribi, if we suggest a cut his wages by two thirds, he will start speaking in tongues. The majority of these people are looters who are complaining about looters who loot more than them. At Ben Murray Bruce speaks well. He has ideas and points how the failings. In policies and articulate frameworks, roadmaps, I just wish it was more vociferous about it and actually a lot more robust with its stance. It should, it should be the PDP presidential nominees who article is the bully boy. Northern senators are nothing to write home with. Reason why I love that show, Sunny Man. You know, some people said that why are the wrong people without principles? Objectivity and courage to speak for the people always the ones that get elected. He has been consistent. And that is the principled politicians. You know, so guys, what do you think about this? Are you in support of what these people said? You know, the fact is that we all know that uh, many Hebrews, when you talk about Senator Baribi, you know, many Hebrews don't like this guy because he is not always in support of the Hebrews, you know. And I would not support what this guy said. I would not support it because they were fine. Abaribe speaks the truth. Sometimes Abaribe speaks against this present administration. We are not denying that. But the reality is that uh, Abaribe cannot lead this country, cannot even lead us at all. He can't. We all know what he, what he did in his own state, we all know everything. And that's just the reality about it. Let's hear people's opinion first. You know, Nigerians were saying that most legislators do not know why they are at the chamber. You really have to be firm and antagonist to the executive for the country to make any headway. They are continuous frolicking with the executive is why the country is sliding into a deep valley. Abaribe is indeed a good legislator. And they said, a truth man of peace. May your days be long. Senator Abaribe has been given a wonderful Christmas gift by Nigerians who have rightly recognized him as a principled and courageous legislator. Indeed, he is the best from the East and the entire nation. If we have others like him, we would not have the nuts under the hampit of Mr. President Muhammad Buhari. The Northerners are majority Muslims, and Muslims are extremely deceptive in their dealings, especially with non-Muslims. 
You know, why some people were saying that don't deceive Abaribe, he cannot win election beyond his constituency. Northerners are waiting for you to ask for their votes. Their deviants, their deviants should not deceive you. Even the southwestern populace is zero vote for you. Just be playing the gallery. Hmm. The fact is that, to me, Abaribe cannot even lead the country, cannot even lead the state anymore. That's just the fact about it. Because, to me, I feel that Abaribe is like a, an high service man. Let me just put it that way because he's a corny man. People think that he, he speaks the, the truth in the right way, but sometimes he speaks in a corny way. That's the way I, I can feel about it. You know, people were, people were saying that Barry B is the only senators at the National Assembly. The worst of them all is the one who calls himself the, senator pres, the Senate President. What? So guys, what is, what is your own thought about this? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you. And if you're here to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you all for always being there for us at all time. We appreciate you all. We say God bless you. We thank you very much for watching our video anytime. Thank you. We appreciate your comment. We we'll say God bless you to you once again. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you, Hemi. Bye.